As many as 30 million of us work from home, but less than 4 million are getting the tax benefits we're entitled to, including depreciation and deductions. If that includes you, maybe someone you know here with what you need to know is Sherry. Oh, Sherry, we've heard of depreciation, but uh, we thought of that for commercial properties. Kind of elaborate on that for us. Well, that's because business owners are allowed to depreciate the value that their business assets lose over time due to normal wear and tear or obsolescence. And real estate, we know, is essentially dirt with business assets, which we call buildings, attached to it. So commercial property owners are allowed to depreciate the value of those buildings over 39 years. What most people don't realize, like you said, though, Holony, is if you have a home office, the same rules apply to you. So roughly speaking, you would take the value of your home, multiply it by the percentage that's occupied by your home office, and that's the amount that you can actually depreciate. So we're talking about big dollars. What about deductions for home offices. How does that work? Sure. Well, in addition to depreciating the actual full office itself, you're allowed to deduct two categories of expenses. So direct expenses are 100% attributable to the actual office. So painting the office or carpeting the office. And you can deduct 100% of those expenses. Indirect expenses are those that are attributable to the whole house. So your utilities, your security system, your insurance, you're allowed to deduct the portion that are attributable to your, uh, to your home office. Now, there was a rule to simplify that if you didn't want to keep all those records that allowed you to just take $5 a square foot up to 300 feet, but then you're not allowed to take depreciation, and a lot of people have sure. bigger home offices, so that doesn't really work for Clay, a lot of people. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, claiming an office, does that raise a red flag with the IRS? You know, not anymore, because home offices have become so normal so and, and yeah. virtual work. The thing is, you really need to follow the rules. So generally speaking, that office needs to be clearly separate and distinguished from the rest of your living space. It needs to be used exclusively and regularly for business purposes, and it needs to be the primary place where you're administering and managing your business. So your bookkeeping, your billing, your scheduling, your ordering. You can't be having a bus another business location a couple miles away and just work from home occasionally. And if you're an employee, the home office needs to be for your employer's convenience, not your own. Gotcha. Well, start thinking ahead to tax season, and now we know if we're Big not, dollar savings, and we're not millions doing of people it. are missing out on yeah. it. Yeah. All right, Cheerio. Thanks so much. Sure. Chris, back to you. All right, Holly, thank you. Breaking news right now. The